What's the nature of this whistle? Well, maybe you can remember being a kid. And you went to your friend's house, and your, your friend had a dog. You didn't have a dog. Your friend had a dog, though. And his dog was way off in the yard. You couldn't even see him. And your friend comes out and says, hey, watch this. Takes out a whistle. Looks pretty cool. And he blows the whistle, and all you hear is, <laughs> and you're like, yo, that's the wackest whistle. What do you think that's going to do? <laughs> that's hot air. And then pretty soon, you see your friend's dog, old Scruffy, bounding across the lawn, coming right and sitting at the feet of his master. That's a dog whistle, man. And your friend tells you, yo, this is a dog whistle. And it emits sounds at an ultrasonic range. It emits a sound that is higher than the range of human hearing. You didn't hear the sound in there. All you heard was hot air, but there's a sound in there, all right. And those who have ears to hear can hear it. That's what the gospel is like, fam. To the natural man, it sounds like some hot air. It's contemptible, this little, weak message. It doesn't have any power. It's pitiful. It's even annoying to them. To them, it's nothing. The message of Christ crucified. But when God gives one of his children ears to hear it, they can hear within that the sweetest sound they've ever heard. They hear the voice of their master calling them home in the message of Christ crucified for sinners.